What's going on channel? I'm Liz from Learn Robotics and I'm here to show you how to connect your Facebook page to an SMS text message. So if you've ever been frustrated because you missed out on a Facebook post from a Facebook page, you wanted to get updates on sales, you wanted to know when the latest event was happening, and you don't feel like checking the page every 10 minutes, you'd rather just get a notification automatically to your phone, then you're gonna to wanna to check out this week's tutorial. Let's head over to the computer and I'm gonna show you how to get this set up. We're gonna be using this tool called the RSS app. So go ahead and launch the app and you're gonna find the Facebook RSS feeds option. Go to Facebook and grab the URL of the Facebook page that you want to follow. Paste that into the option on the RSS app field and click generate. You're going to be brought to this page where you can then go ahead and get the RSS feed. You're going to need to create an account. This uh, app does have free and paid options. The free option does give you two different feeds that you can follow, so that should be fine for now. Go ahead and click on the feed that was just generated and copy the RSS feed URL, which is a .xml URL, and that's what we're going to be using with the tool called Zapier. So in Zapier, you're going to need to create another free account, and you're going to create your first workflow to create a Zap. And we're going to be connecting the RSS by Zapier with the SMS by Zapier, as you can see. And when a new item in feed happens, we're going to send an SMS. So we're going to go ahead and use this Zap. This is going to open up the Zapier editor, where we can paste in that previous uh, RSS feed URL, copy that over, and paste it in. Then we can leave the username and passwords fields blank, and we'll just leave the default settings and press continue. Now we can test the trigger, make sure that we can pull in an RSS field. That looks good. It should be the most recent post from that Facebook page. So as long as that information lines up, you should be all set. Now we're ready to connect the SMS service, which is what uh, Zapier is going to use to trigger that SMS message to your phone. So you're going to have to set up an account. I already have one assigned to my phone, but I'm just going to show you this is what you need to do. You need to type in your phone number that can receive a text message and then confirm it either via an SMS message or a phone call. Type in the PIN and then click continue. And this will send you some test messages to make sure things work. And once that's set up, you're able to actually assign a phone number that you're going to receive these SMSs from. I recommend choosing a static phone number so that you can add it as a contact into your phone. Um, the message is going to be the title of the post and a link to the Facebook page. You can go ahead and cl click continue, and then we're going to do a test to send this data to our phone. So when you press the test and continue button, you should receive a text message from that phone number with the information about the previous post and a link to that Facebook post page. When you're done with that, you can click the done editing button and then turn the zap on I hope this was helpful for you. If you did enjoy it, please like the video. Leave your questions below in the comments section. You can view the full tutorial on learnrobotics.org. I'm Liz from Learn Robotics, and I'll see you next time.